Hello there, and welcome to a quick little video here. Today we're going to talk about the Apple 2GS, and the whole point of this video is just to show you how to remove the PRAM or the clock battery that's inside the Apple 2GS. That's right, this does actually have a clock battery. I didn't even know that until a few months ago when someone mentioned it, and I thought, uh-oh, let me go get my 2GS and take the battery out. So why do you want to take the battery out of these? Well, the computer is over 32 years old at this point. This thing was introduced, I believe, in 1986. And those batteries, especially with exposure to heat and long-term storage and stuff like that, they corrode and they could leak. And when the battery leaks, it could release all of that good battery juice all over your logic board and basically could end up destroying your computer if you're not lucky. So, um, the best thing to do is just to remove the battery, and it's as simple as that. The battery's not in there, can't cause you any harm. Uh, I'm not gonna focus on replacing the battery because uh, some of the batteries are soldered in, some are actually in sockets, so they're easier to remove. Um, I do want to cover that in another video, but for now, we're just gonna talk about removing the batteries. Quick and easy, so let's get started. Okay, so first you wanna unplug everything from your Apple II, all the data and video and power cables and all that stuff. Then you're gonna to wanna to look at the back of the unit. There are these two clips here. You see these little edges that peek out here. This is what you're gonna press on to open the case. So these sort of bend inwards. So you're gonna press toward the top and you can see that they do give way. Uh, you might wanna put your fingernails in this ridge here to help you. Just be careful, the plastic is very old and likely brittle. Um, lifting up this way upwards helps a little bit and uh, helps sometimes if you work one side and do the other, but try and do them simultaneously. And the case lifts off like this, it clips here. So when putting it back, you wanna do this and down, and you wanna make sure these catch over these tabs here. You wanna be very careful. So just like that, no screws, no nothing, we have access to our Apple TGS. Okay, so here is the 2GS. We have the power supply here. We have the board, and then we have our, uh, I believe this is a memory card right here. So uh, what we have to do is remove the power supply because the battery is actually hidden underneath this. In fact, if you look under the power supply, you can see what type of a battery you have. That's it right in the center there. And ours is connected by two wires. So our battery is not socketed, so we're gonna have to cut it out. Okay, so now we can remove the power supply from the 2GS so we can get to that battery. Thankfully, this doesn't require any tools and we only have to do two simple steps. The first step is to unplug this cable here. You might have to wiggle it back and forth. Uh, there are some plastic pins holding that in. Next thing we need to do is gently move this little tab so we can lift this power supply out. So what I'm gonna do is put my thumbnail here Bend forward on the tab. Remember, plastic is brittle because it's old. Uh, and you can lift the power supply up so it clears that notch and lift it up and out of the machine. With the power supply removed, we get a great view at our battery, which is right here. This is a 3.6 volt lithium battery in a half double A size, and we're gonna remove it from the board. This is simple enough to do. You want to cut the battery's leads so they're no longer connected to anything and remove and safely dispose of the battery. Now there are two types of batteries on these boards. Some are wired in directly like this. Others have a socket, similar to how most Macintosh computers have their batteries installed. The socket is thankfully easier. You just take out the battery and put a new one into the slot. But unfortunately for these, we're gonna have to cut the battery out. So I'm just gonna use these pairs of snips that are pretty sharp. You could use pliers if they're sharp enough, but you don't want to damage anything and you want to be careful. Uh, I'm going to clip as close to the battery as possible. So if I have to solder anything back on here, uh, that's not going to be a pain to do so. Okay, that's one side. And the other, and now the battery is free. Well, look at that. So that's it, the battery is removed. So. We're gonna put everything back together. We're not gonna install a new battery like I said before. Without a battery, the Apple II will work just fine. However, it won't be able to save the time or retain the control panel settings once the computer is shut off without a battery being installed. So first things first is we're gonna put the power supply back in. We're gonna line this up, this power socket and this switch to the back of the unit here. So we're gonna 
put that in at an angle. Uh, notice that there are these three holes here and there are these three plastic pegs. So you wanna slide this onto those pegs and then ease that down. You could rest it here and just make sure you gently pull this tab forward and ease the power supply back down. So you wanna make, just make sure that you don't break that plastic tab. And now you just wanna firmly place this cable back in its socket. There we go, just push it all the way down. And now we're just gonna put the lid back on. So again, you put the lid under these plastic pieces right here and just gently move the case down. You wanna make sure that these tabs are over these pieces of plastic and just push it down like that. So now you could rest easy knowing that your Apple 2GS is safe from any battery issues. Of course, you don't have a battery on the board, but you could always replace it. There's a few ways to do that. I'll likely do a video in the future about that. The only other thing I would recommend doing at this point is checking the capacitors on your Apple 2GS motherboard. These could also leak similar to the battery and you don't want any of that nasty stuff leaking on your board. These aren't as susceptible to the issues that the early Macintosh machines have, at least in my experience. However, you wanna check those out just in case there are any problems. You wanna to get to that early before uh, yeah, it starts eating away. It's really bad when that happens. But anyway, that's about it for this video. So if you like this type of stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube. I'd greatly appreciate it. You can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is Mac84TV. And if you're feeling generous, you could jump on the Patreon bandwagon and get some uh, early access goodies and behind the scenes stuff that you just can't get anywhere else. So that's about it for now, but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Mac84.